Hi, this is Baron Hoffman here with Rick Hagdahl again, and uh, we're testing out uh, some more features of the KT LCD3 display. Uh, just to recap uh, from a previous video here, um, this little uh, uh, dead end plug that comes out of the controller, you may have noticed, uh, has an end cap, and if you pull that end cap off, you're left with this uh, five pin connector. And right now we don't have an extension cable. But if you uh, take the, the short extension from the KT LCD3 display and plug it into that connector um, and then press the, the power on button, it turns on the display and you can see uh, we figured out this is the ambient temperature, not the motor temperature motor wattage up here, the time, uh, and then the distance. Uh, this is for the trip distance. And then the instantaneous miles per hour, and then the assist level, and then the battery gauge uh, meter is up at the top here. If you press this middle button again, it cycles through a second screen. It now shows the AVS, or average speed. Uh, in this case, on our test rides, we were averaging 13.4 miles per hour. Odometer uh, changed a little bit as well. If we press this uh, center button again, we get the maximum speed. Uh, interesting note here: the uh, the 25 or the 29.5 mile per hour maximum speed. Uh, we have been able to uh, eliminate the 20 mile per hour um, speed limit on the on the controller on the bike. Um, I'll repeat that: with this display, we can override. The, the 20 mile per hour speed governor. Um, we were pretty excited about that. So we were able to get this on a downhill slope up to 29 and a half miles per hour. That's with the motor continuing to, uh, to help propel the bike faster. And then back to the original screen. Now I'm going to turn it off by holding down that power button. And now I'm going to go into the programming mode. And so to get into the programming mode, within five seconds of turning it on, we'll press the, the up and the down buttons, and we'll hold those for about five seconds, and that'll bring us into the programming mode. So we'll turn it on here, and then immediately we'll press the up and down buttons. And so now it takes us to the, the programming mode, and currently this is set for, uh, this is the maximum speed that it'll uh, assist or, or uh, make the motor assist for. And so we can decrease that. So for the European uh, customers, if you want to limit it to uh, whatever your... Whatever your uh, it's kilometers per hour? Yeah, kilometers per hour. Let's say it's 30 or 35. Um, you know, you can limit it. And that should limit the, the assist of the motor so that you are in compliance with the law. Uh, here in the States, we like to do everything to the max, so we're going we're gonna to keep it at the maximum. Up to 72 is the maximum that this display allows. Okay. Uh, so now if you press the, the center button again, uh, you can program the, the, the tire in inches. Now we first programmed this at 28 inch tires, but we found that the speed was nearly double. Um, so it could be that it bases it on the radius of the tire, but we found that at 14 inch tire for this particular bike, the speed was fairly accurate. Um, so uh, so that's, that's what we have this set to at the moment. And then you can change your mile per hour or kilometer per hour settings uh, as, as you prefer. And, uh, and that's it. That, and then it's done with the, the setup mode. So pretty exciting stuff with our display. Um, I do have some extension cables on the way, so we'll be able to mount this. This display does come with bracket hardware for mounting on your handlebars. Um, so we'll be able to mount that up here with that one meter extension, and uh, it's, uh, it's exciting stuff. Uh, I really uh, am uh, pleased about the, uh, the eliminating the governor, um, so we'll be able to take these things up to close to 30 miles per hour now um, in ideal conditions.